All right. Thank you for that, Anthony. And as we get closer to a potential COVID-19 vaccine getting approved here in the U.S., doctors are hoping the public actually gets the vaccine once it's available. Fox 17's Annie Sutowski explains why one doctor says people should be very encouraged by the data. Recent polling from Pew Research shows that about 60% of Americans say they would either definitely or probably get a COVID-19 vaccine. And infectious disease doctors here at Mercy Health say that number is just enough to make a dent in infections. But they say the more people that are immune, the better. And they say the best way to do that is by getting a vaccine. I'm optimistic for the first time in a while. Dr. Andrew Jameson, the division chief of infectious disease at Mercy Health, is seeing a bit of light at the end of a very long tunnel. I can tell you right now from what I've seen, from an efficacy standpoint, from a safety standpoint, um, I'm going to be definitely getting the vaccine personally. And I have zero issues about getting my family the vaccine when it's, al- uh, when it's available. With two COVID vaccines on deck for approval with the FDA, Dr. Jameson hopes that people feel confident in getting it once they're able. If we get around 60% of people immunized and then we also have uh, the natural immunity out there giving us a little extra help otherwise, um, I think we will be able to get to that number where that's going to be a huge impact. But he understands people may be wary. Unfortunately, we've had a fair amount of skepticism in the community as uh, about vaccines before all this. And now in the setting of this being um, moved forward pretty quickly, I think there's uh, probably a little bit of a natural skepticism. He says that's the biggest reason he's hurt for not wanting the vaccine. Things are just moving too fast. Before this, the, or the fastest we ever had a vaccine get uh, from the beginning to the end and where people were getting it was four years. Um, and so this one is going to be about about 10 months. But he calls the trial and manufacturing process the most transparent he's ever seen and trusts the FDA to leave no stone unturned before approval. They get all the notes from the doctors. They get all the patient encounter visits from the uh, sites that are doing the uh, vaccine. So they actually get all of the raw data and reinterpret it and reanalyze it themselves for efficacy. So they don't just believe what the drug manufacturers tell them. Dr. Jameson wants people to understand potential vaccine side effects to make sure they come back for the second dose. If I know that um, that my arm's going to hurt and I might have a headache and I might be a run down for a day or two, um, if I know that, it's very, very different than if that's a surprise to me. He says knowledge is power and hopes people will feel more confident by looking at the research for themselves. The more I learn about these and the more I've seen them, um, I've been more encouraged than less encouraged. The FDA is set to meet Thursday this week, December 10th, to discuss Pfizer's vaccine and then again on December 17th to review Moderna's version. In Grand Rapids, Annie Sitowski, Fox 17 News.